The Trump administration says it will ignore and remember a U.N. vote to condemn its recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. In a non-binding resolution, 128 nations denounced the decision, calling it null and void. Just nine countries voted to support the U.S., while 35 others abstained. Major Garrett is at the White House. Major, good morning. Good morning. When President Trump announced on December 6th that he was moving the United States Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, he said it was simply following through on a law Bill Clinton signed in 1995. True. But no president before Mr. Trump did what that law said, leaving the status of Jerusalem to peace talks between the Israelis and Palestinians. The United Nations vote amplifies critics who believe Mr. Trump's move has jeopardized that very peace process. The United States will remember this day in which it was singled out for attack. In the president Trump's ambassador to the United Nations warned member countries that condemning U.S. solidarity with the Israeli government would have consequences. This vote will be remembered. 128 countries ignored the warning, among them U.S. allies Britain, France, Germany, Italy and Japan. Joining the U.S. and Israel were only seven other countries, Guatemala, Honduras, Marshall Islands, Micronesia, Nauru, Palau and Togo, combined population 33 million and recipients of more than $680 million in U.S. aid. They take hundreds of millions of dollars and even billions of dollars and then they vote against us. President Trump said Wednesday the U.S. could cut off funding to countries that cross him. Let them vote against us. We'll save a lot. President Obama's CIA director John Brennan called the president's threat to retaliate beyond outrageous and said Mr. Trump showed qualities, quote, found in narcissistic, vengeful autocrats. It is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. The president's decision to recognize Jerusalem and his intention to move the U.S. Embassy there set off days of protests and earned condemnation from Arab nations and European allies. America will put our embassy in Jerusalem. No vote in the United Nations will make any difference on that. The State Department has said it has not identified which nations, if any, it will penalize over this non-binding vote in the United Nations. For next year, the United States is scheduled to dole out just under $26 billion in foreign aid. Gail, say Merry Christmas to the National Park Service. Merry Christmas, National Park Service, and Merry Christmas to you too, Major Garrett. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much.